Now we're going to discuss how to count the neutrons. So if you've got some atom of something and you know its atomic number, how do you figure out the number of neutrons in the nucleus? Because remember, the nucleus, right, this is kind of a little nucleus, is equal to the sum of the protons plus the neutrons because the weight of the nucleus is just going to be equal to the weight of this guy and they're all equal to, to one and the weights of these guys all equal to one added up. So if we know the number of protons, we can get the neutrons. It's almost like in a little equation here. So let's look at this. This is an entry from the table. Now, we know the atomic number is here. So that's the number of protons. So protons equals 6. Well, what's the weight? Well, the weight is 12.011. Remember, this is the atomic weight. So what we need to do, we need to get down to the atomic number. Atomic number. And that is, for the most part, just going to be this number rounded up or down according to you know, the rounding rules. In this case, it's 12.0, so we can just round down to 12. So the atomic number is just going to be 12. Now remember, atomic number, atomic number, is equal to your protons plus neutrons. So if we've got 12 as the atomic number, we just subtract 6 off, and that'll be the number of the neutrons. So our neutrons is just going to be 12 minus 6 equals 6. So in this case, we're going to have 6 neutrons. Now, the thing is, you can technically do these kind of things off the periodic table because you can just round down the weights or round up the weights. But there are a few weird examples like chlorine gets a little messed up because it's 35.45 and it's you know really weird. Is it 35? Is it so close to 36? Is it that? Uh, so in general, if you have to do these problems, they will give you um, the atomic number already, and then they'll give the 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 oh, sorry, they'll give you the atomic number already, and they'll give you the mass number. So uh, essentially. Oh, I messed that up here. Whoops. Mass number is protons plus neutrons. Sorry. So the mass number is the protons plus the neutrons. This is the atomic weight. We can round it to the mass number. And mass number is protons plus neutrons, a.k.a. atomic number plus neutrons. But sorry about that. All right. Over here. So we've got our mass number is 14. We have the number of protons is 6. So we just subtract 14 minus 6, and that gets us 8 neutrons. So neutrons equals 8. Uh, let's try Cu right here, copper. So atomic number is 63. Uh, sorry, mass number is 63. Atomic number, or protons, is 29. So we just do 63 minus 29. And that gets us what? Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. So we're going to have 63 minus 29. That's 34 neutrons. So the neutrons is going to be equal to 34. Let's try these. Even though the numbers are big, same thing applies. Mass number is 238. Number of protons is 92. We just do 238 minus 92. And that gives us 146. 146 neutrons. OK. And let's look at last one, 235. Uh, 235 is the mass number. Atomic number is 92. Subtract them off. And we get, let's see, that's going to be 143, right? Yep. So neutrons is 143. Note something interesting. Note that these two have got the same symbol, because they've got the same atomic number, but they've got different mass numbers. And how that manifests itself in the nucleus is different numbers of neutrons, right? This guy has 146. He has 143. And this is the definition, essentially, of an isotope. Isotrope, no, isotope. An isotope is essentially two of the same element with different atomic weights, different mass numbers, and for that reason, different, essentially different numbers of neutrons. Okay, in the next video, we're going to talk about how to find the charge of a single atom.